Greetings, all my fellow monsters and ghouls out there. This is the Terrors of Halloween. All right, so I am back. I'm sorry, I am back with another haunt update video for Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So yes, I'm. I'm also. I've also been pretty. I'm, I've also been pretty. I'm busy. I'm, I'm working. I'm working pretty hard on the haunts um, to get prepared for Halloween night. And yes, of course, we'll, we will still be open for Halloween night on, on, on October 31st of this year of 2023, our second year I'm running Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So if you guys live in Missouri, def definitely come on by Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror and we will be there to scare you and you will get to meet all of Dr. Neville Stone's monsters and creatures. And in the haunt as well. So yes, okay, guys. So um, so I'm gonna show you guys some show you guys some new stuff um, um, that I have set up for Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So let's walk through the haunt. So follow me, if you dare. <laughs> All right, and, and and yes, of course, we always gotta start at the entrance gate. So we always got to start there and of course we I still got this plastic fabric here and and the plastic chains that's going to go right here and we still got that creepy skeleton hand that's going to be for the entrance way so that way you know kind of make it set, set the whole effect that way that skeleton hand might come out and grab you. All right, so we're going to go through here show you guys some of the new stuff that I have set up. All right, I got a tombstone all set up right here. Got a pile of bones that that belong basically belong to Dr. Neville Stone's victim. So, so so he he buries his victims right here in his graveyard. And of course, we got that creepy creepy skull that they have right here. And yes, and this and this is also pretty new this year. This this was also given um uh given to me by um by my landlord that also used to like have his Halloween props, but he wanted to give it away to me. So yeah, so this is gonna be a new a, a new addition to the haunt. So soon as you guys enter, um, enter these gates right here, and then you will come across this creepy spirit lady with uh, with like the blackest eyes around her eyes and like, and, and she's got like a skeletal like mouth right there and got like a crack on the head right there so so yeah you know so this is our new like spirit lady of the graveyard so so yeah as soon as you guys enter you will come across her right there so that is our new prop that will um, that I'm, that I'm gonna be using for dr. Neville Stone's graveyard house of terror okay so there's her so we're gonna go down here and yes this was also given to me by my landlord so this is pretty new this year we got some creepy spiders right here and we still, oh yeah, oh yeah, I kind of moved the keep out sign. For, I, I kind of moved it from right here to over here. So uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, you know, that, that would be, it'll be a lot more closer this time. And yes, yeah, so this is also brand new this well, as well. This is, was given um, to me by my landlord that I'm um, used to like use these Halloween props for his like his yard decor. But this is going to be a part of the haunt. A new ghostly phantom spirit that also comes from the the forsaken of lost souls that is that is not in this world that is in that is in um um uh the netherworld yes so he comes from the netherworld of the forsaken of lost souls and we yes so the keep out sign i moved right here we still got the cemetery gates and we and, oh yes i also set up that dead sign also i had that in the front yard last year and that's gonna be in the in the backyard this year and over here those so th these are pretty new this these were given to me by my landlord as well so th these are pretty new got bloody hands right here and right over here this is a bone trail that that will take you right over there so that so yeah it's, it's kind of right right where you're about to go um, to um, build the Scarecrow Demons area. Oh yes, I do have some gravestones all set up right, right over here. Got a spider creature over there that that's brand new as well. And so a, a new prop for the haunt. So and, and yeah, and we got this, and we got this zombie that's coming out of the coming out of the ground right there. I so still got him here. And yeah, so I gave him a tombstone as well. And we got we got that one right there. That was all. The, yeah, that's also what I used last year. It's even styrofoam as well. So I'm planning on getting some hard plastic gravestones as well. So I can probably put some more around the backyard. So yeah. So yeah. I think the backyard needs some more 
um, uh, gravestones. That it's not really enough. So I'll try to do my best to get a hand to get my hands on those hard plastic gravestones for for the backyard area. Oh yes, I, also that was used last year. So of course the eyes glow as well. Of course when you push it, um, if I can, hold on, it's kind of kind of hard. There we go. Yep. So there you go. So his eyes glow right right over here. And oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot to show this one right here. And I also got like a skeleton hand coming out of the ground right there. So I, for, I forgot to mention that um, prop right there. Yeah, of course the bone trail that kind of leads you to build the scarecrow demons area. And yes, you know, I, I you know I decided to um hook up the um hook up um the um the inflatable tree monster right here with with the the creepy spirit right here and got the creepy looking jack-o-lantern pumpkin right over there so yeah so th those were all so i got that all set up for, for the video so yeah so still got the inflatable monster tree and, oh yes i cannot forget about our, our our reaper right over here so yeah i still have him all set up right here in the backyard area and still got this creepy skeleton hand that's coming out right there oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah the, we we have a, like a little grill back here oh yeah um this will this will be moved when when we start doing our our, our haunt so yes so yeah um this won't really be here so that yeah so that that will kind of get moved kind of like up up there on on the on the deck so yeah so so that grill will kind of get moved but yeah but i'll keep it there for right now but when we start doing the haunt then we gotta kind of have to move some of this stuff out of the way all right so we're gonna go over here there's our inflatable monster tree of course and got this gravestone set up that's also a last year's one yeah the paint's kind of chipping off because it, it kind of rained a lot so yeah the paint's kind of like chipping off on the styrofoam gravestone so <laughs> well yeah well that's why I, that's why i won't be getting those anymore because they're just yeah they're just not really worth getting because if it gets rained on because this will kind of happen to your styrofoam tombstones so yeah well i mean it's okay though i can still use it for my haunt though it, it's still in good shape still hopefully it will still be in good shape when when we start running on this haunt and yeah oh yeah i put like a little bone skeleton foot right there i got some creepy stuff right over here got some some leg bones right here got a spider because so, so I'll, oh yeah, oh yeah i kind of put some of those like right on the uh, right and um like put, i put it like inside like that so i got like a spider over there got like a, a skeletal spinal cord got, got that one right there wait i think that goes to your hip bone is it i i think so let me know let me know in the comments if that goes to your um hip bone Okay, as we move along here, got this creepy looking zombie hand that's right here. So, oh yeah, so, so yeah, yeah, I kind of, I kind of set the whole, uh, it kind of sets the whole effect actually. It kind of makes it look like, um, it kind of makes it look like his hand is going to come out and grab you right there. So, oh yeah, I, I did show that one in my other video of, of my, of my haunt update video. So there's the creepy zombie hand right there. Oh yeah, so this is also new right here. So, so yeah this is pretty new well yeah um we we, we had a pretty massive storm the, the other day and this this whole thing just fell and 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 he kind of fell in the mud right there and then he kind of got muddy though but eh, i mean it's still okay though he's still in good shape though i'm i'm luckily luckily he didn't fall apart during during the storm so i was lucky yeah this whole thing just fell and it kind of just it kind of damaged him a little bit, but he, but it's not as not really not really that bad. But he's still in good shape though, so he'll be all all set up to go for Doctor Neville Stone's graveyard, House of Terror, our creepy undead skeleton, right there. I got like, there, there's a spider I put right over there. I got a, that that zombie hand that's coming out right there, and oh yeah, also this this is brand new as well. That's one of the other spider creatures right there so that yeah so yeah it's like it's guarding the the pile of bones so if you're walking by this area watch out for this spider creature he might come out to attack so yes yeah so there's a spider creature a pile of bones and a skull head right there got a some got, got a gravestone set up right here and i got these fellows right here so yeah i kind of stuck their arms in right there kind of make it look like it's they're these um um, these phantom reapers are about to like come out and grab you so so yeah so yeah it kind of sets the whole effect pr pretty nicely so it kind of makes it look like 
they're, um, they're, they're going to come out and, and grab you. So, so yeah, so here's some of these, um, here's some, here's some of these ghostly phantoms that I have set up right here. All right, we are about to enter Bill the Scarecrow Demon's area. Oh, yes, I still have the no enter watch out sign right here. So, okay, so how's we about to enter? So, oh, yeah, I, I kind of set up this, like, this, like, corn stalk right here. So, yeah, this was, uh, this was actually a, a real life, like, plant thing. I kind of turn it into a, a corn stalk almost. Like, you know, kind of sets, sets the effect. It kind of makes it look like a corn stalk. Cause, yeah, cause this is your, um, Bill the Scarecrow Demon's area. Oh, yeah, I also do have a, like a, um, creepy scarecrow skeleton right there. Of course, that's where he's gonna be. As soon as you're coming through this area, that's where you'll meet Bill the Scarecrow Demon, the Harvester of Souls. So that's so that's where he'll be right there. And oh yes, I do. Have, yeah, of course, you no, know, I still have all these boards all set up right here. Got this creepy undead zombie skeleton. He's still there. So he's still. I mean, he's still reaching out to grab you by the leg and, and feast on your flesh right there. And yes, I officially got Rusty out of the box. So so he'll kind of be here in, at Bill the Scarecrow Demon's area. So yeah, you know, so, you know, you'll, you guys will um, run into Rusty, the 2019 animatronic from Spirit Halloween. So yeah, um, yeah, I try to get him to work though. I, well... I somehow can't, so I try to get him to work, but I just don't think there's no way to get him to work because I think he's officially broken. But hey, you know, um, he, um, he would make a good static prop though because I st I still think he would be good uh, has a static prop, even though I I don't know why he doesn't work. So even even though he doesn't work, um, he will still be a good static prop to use. So there's Rusty with all the blood on his burlap sack mask right here from chopping up his victims right there. So you'll, you guys run into Rusty after you guys encounter Bill the Scarecrow Demon. Oh yeah, and also over here, right next to Bill the Scarecrow Demon's area, got a hanging pumpkin prop right here. So this is so, so this is pretty new. That was also given to me from my landlord as well. So these were some of his Halloween props and he, and he, and he decided to give it to me. So um, that way I can use it for my haunt. So yeah. All right, so as we go through here, we still got the gates all set up here. You still got a uh, graveyard ghoul right there. He's still creeping around the graveyard right next to that reaper tombstone. And yes, also, I do have a spider creature that's going to go right here. That's also brand new as well. A new, another new spider prop right there. So he'll be kind of right there when you're walking by this area. Then you guys see some of these uh, creepy ghouls over here. And we've got that crawling vampire that's supposed to go on your shoulders. Got that. Got, also got a gravestone set up right here. Got another one set up here. Got this gravestone. Got another skeleton hand. Also the same one that that's in the backyard. So I decided to use that one as well for the front yard. Oh yeah. So got our crawling zombie. Okay. So I, I, I'm actually planning on moving him kind of over here this time because I'm gonna be putting John Doe over here. Also, that's I think the 2011 Spirit Halloween animatronic. So, so yeah, so I'll, I'll be putting John Doe here and then he, and then the crawling zombie will kind of go right here this time. So, so I will be moving him eventually. So, oh yeah. Oh, hey, oh yeah. Um, if you don't know what John Doe is, he's like a dead body under a sheet. So that's kind of what, that's kind of what he is. So, so the crawling zombie will officially go over there and then that's where John Doe will be. All right, here's some more stuff I have over here. Got a got a severed bloody foot. That's also a brand new prop for this year for the haunt. Got, oh yeah, of course, still got those creepy skeleton hands that are coming out of the ground right there, and some pile of bones that were Doctor Neville Stones' victims. He just left the the remains of their bones in his graveyard. So and of course, there's that the Reaper tombstone right there. Got another gravestone over here, of course. Oh yeah, got, got a little spider creature right there, and some another pile of bones that I have right here. We still got our creepy ghostly phantom that comes from the netherworld of the Forsaken of Lost Souls. And we, oh yeah, also he's brand new this year. Another new hanging prop, another ghostly reaper right here of the graveyard. Got that gravestone here. All right, so. As we enter those two skulls right here, we're about to enter John the Caretaker's area.
All right, we are at we are at John the Caretaker's area. Oh yeah, of course, um, he's brand new. I mean, I didn't really know what to do with him, so I, I kind of just put him right here in John the Caretaker's area. A, a little creepy undead hanging skeleton prop right here that I have. Oh yeah, of course, the changing portraits I have over here. He changed into a vampire, and this one he changed into a, a reaper right there. And of course, that's where John the caretaker will sit with his shovel, and then he'll open that coffin and show you the rotting corpse. I still have it in here. Yep, he's still in there. If this thing can unblur, unblur. There we go. Now you can fully see him. There's the the rotting corpse that that John the that John the caretaker is gonna bury. So yeah. So, so th that's pretty much what I have said. Oh, wait, can cannot forget about this fella over here. Our hanging undead um, person we have right here. So he, he, he's like a rotting corpse. Here he is. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to show this. I, yeah, so, yeah, I actually put a skeleton head up there on, on top of the roof. So, yeah, you know, I, 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 I thought it would have been a pretty cool idea to put a skeleton head on top of the roof. So, yeah, I forgot to show that. So, yeah. Oh, I, also, that's also a groundbreaker, by the way. But I wanted to do something uh, different with the skeleton head. So, I wanted to put him on top of the roof right there. So, yeah, here's our creepy skeleton head that's on top of the roof. And, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, of course we still got some of these. We got the hanging ghostly ghoul of the graveyard. I got this ghoul over here. A creepy um, ghostly reaper phantom right there. Oh yes, I also did have this set up, but this actually broke during the storm. Yeah, because yeah, I was literally trying to get this in the ground and then somehow it just came right off. So... Yeah, I don't know what to do. Maybe I could try to, like, glue this in or something. So I have no idea what happened. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I still got that one. I, I might I might set it up somewhere, but I just don't know where I'm going to put this at in, in the haunt. So, yeah. Yes, it, yes, sadly, I had it over here, actually. It's right over here. And then somehow the, the storm just <laughs> kind of just... I uh, ruined it, but eh, I mean it's okay. I I could try to figure out a new spot for this, um, for this a uh, ghostly tombstone right here. Of course, it glows in the dark. Of course, you can see those ghostly um lights in their mouths and their eyes right there. So yeah, well, uh, so I will I will eventually think about what I'm gonna do, um, um with this uh go um this ghost tombstone prop that I have right here. Oh wait, yes, I cannot forget to show the Happy Halloween sign course. That's that's kind of the exit, you know. So yeah, you know, so that kind of gives um thanks to the people that are coming through Dr. Neville Stone's graveyard house of terror. So 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 you know that that that, that gives them you know, say, hey, you know, thank you for coming to Dr. Neville Stone's graveyard house of terror. Happy Halloween. So so yeah, you know, that, that you know that that gives them a big thanks for coming by the haunted house. So yeah, there it is. There's my Happy Halloween sign. That's also the exit sign, because that's where they go to exit. When they first meet John, the caretaker, of course, he, he will sit right there, of course. And then, here, I'll kind of do a little... So he'll be like this. So he'll have a shovel, sit kind of like this, I have right here. Kind of, I have, yeah, he kind of has eyes closed like that and go like that to, to scare the guests. So, so just like that. So yeah, so that is what... John the Caretaker would do to scare you. All right, here, real quick, because I'm about to end this video pretty soon. I'm basically thinking about putting a fog machine right here. So, so yeah, so we'll have the inflatable tree right here. So, and then a fog machine will kind of go somewhere right here or, or kind of right there. We'll kind of where, where that step it is right there. So, yeah, I'm thinking about putting a fog machine here as well for, oh, yeah, for the, for the backyard and the front yard. So, that way we'll have both fog machines going in the haunt so yeah so i did want to mention that in the video all right so that's gonna do it for today so this haunt is not really done yet i'm still kind of working on it so it will be done by halloween night so i still gotta work on some things with it i gotta get some fog machines hooked up and um and get some other props out as well so that way i can have everything all set up for Dr. Neville Stone's Graveyard House of Terror. So, yes. 
Alright, so if you enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. And I will still give you guys some update videos of the haunt. Um, yeah, it's because I still got to work on some things. Got some, yeah, those, those two fog machines that for the, um, for the front yard and the backyard as well. So, yes. And yes, this upcoming weekend, Halloween Haunt at Worlds of Fun, if you guys want to come on out and see the character Charles the Scarecrow Killer from Corn Stalkers. Of course, I will be there in, in my Charles, the, uh, me, uh, in my, uh, in my Charles, uh, Charles the Scarecrow Killer form. And he will feast on your souls. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, yes, don't forget Halloween Haunt at Worlds of Fun. We'll be coming up for this weekend. Make sure you guys come on out to Halloween Haunt at World of Fun in Kansas City, Missouri. We are the best theme park haunts you can go to. Well, actually, there's other, like, haunts you, you could go to in the Kansas City area. The Beast and the Edge of Hell and the Macabre Cinema. So it's some of those haunts. If you guys want to visit those haunts in Kansas City, Missouri, the downtown Kansas City haunted attractions. So, yes, definitely, definitely, don't, definitely don't forget to come out to Halloween Haunt at World of Fun for this upcoming weekend and come meet Charles the Scarecrow Killer, the Harvester of Souls at Corn Stalkers. All right, so remember, stay spooky, stay scary. This is the Terrors of Halloween, and I shall see you guys in the next spooky video. Bye bye <laughs>